southwest Garo Hills district is located about 400 kilometers from the state capital Shillong. 95% of the population is engaged in agriculture and it is a 100% rural district with no townships. Like other remote districts of the country, Ampatti also faces problems of poor literacy and even poor institutional deliveries. The institutional deliveries for the year 2018 were low, less than 40%. There are no private-run hospitals here in this district. The district needed a solution to solve the problem of institutional deliveries from the point of a service that had to be ensured in order to avoid infant mortality and maternal mortality. In order to have a direct uh, um, day-to-day -day review or day-to-day -day monitoring of every mother who is uh, delivering or is expected to deliver, we need a system in place, we needed a dashboard. We had called all our uh, medical officers from all the primary health centers, the entire uh, Department of Health was here, so we discussed how to go about it. And one part was uh, beginning of a mobile application. So we developed this system called, uh, mobile application called Sangra, which was developed uh, by uh, Center for Digital and Financial Inclusion based out of Delhi and Bangalore. I'm Dr. Tengsel Chi and Marak, Medical and Health Officer in charge of Melon PXC. So far I have uploaded 84 pregnant mothers and out of that uh, 71 have delivered and around 68% uh, have been delivered in hospitals, uh, both in uh, Melon PXC and other hospitals. Then. Uh, through this app, uh, we have increased in performance with regard to institutional deliveries. So many uh, patients, they hardly come to uh, PHC or other hospitals for delivery. But uh, through this app, we have visited uh, many of them and we have uh, succeeded in bringing them uh, to hospital for delivery. We track them a month or two months before their expected date of deliveries and from that time once the pregnant, pregnant mothers has been entered into the system, uh, we do constant follow-up. We also share the ambulance numbers so that these pregnant mothers can avail the JSSK transportation system of our ambulance. Uh, after the introduction of Sangra app, uh, our uh, institutional deliveries has uh, improved from nearly 50% uh, to 85% uh, uh, as of now. This is the Sankalp dashboard where once the data is collected through mobile application which is Sangra through uh, by the ANMs medical officers or the health supervisors the data is automatically uh, synced with this dashboard on a real time basis. This is easily formatable for our needs, so which makes this dashboard very easy to use as well as very unique and it can give insights which is not possible, which is tough to find out otherwise. Uh, this dashboard, we have arranged the dashboard according to the PHCs in the PHCs and CHCs in the district so that it helps us to check with PHC wise performance and actually find out the exact uh, person who is responsible for this particular event rather than having a uh, macro review we can do your micro review also we can find out the review as well as we can find out the critical gaps as well as help the uh, concerned medical officer to overcome those gaps and achieve the desired results uh, uh, we also have the activity monitor so every under every phc will have an activity monitor which shows how active they have used the mobile application uh, at their phc level how often they, how often they have visited and uh, they have uh, collected the data from the field my name is dr kelvin r sangma i am the subdivisional medical and health officer i am looking after mother and health uh, services and rcs program in service garu hills ampatti 
before the start of this uh, application, Sangra app, uh, our institutional delivery was below 50%. Uh, but since we have started uh, monitoring through this app uh, from the month of uh, February, we could see a huge uh, increase in institutional delivery. And uh, I believe now we have crossed more than 80%. And uh, we could see that it is very easy to monitor from the district headquarters without any extra cost. And this is uh, possible because our Deputy Commissioner, sir, he has uh, you know, helped us a lot in this matter. And uh, we could see um, our ASHAs are more active, our ANMs are more active. They have been tracking each and every pregnant mother in their own villages. And medical officers are um, taking the review every Tuesday with Sir DC. And so we could see that this application is really, really helpful. And I believe um, uh, if this application is uh, applied in all the districts, it will really help us to increase our institutional delivery. So the good thing about the application is that it can go both online as well as offline. So when they are collecting data, a necessity to have a, uh, a network at that particular location. But once they collect data offline, once they come uh, wherever there is network connectivity, automatically the data gets uh, uh, synced up. Where every pregnant mother will be tracked by the medical facility where they are registered with. So the facility starts like that, once Asha registers a mother, once she is pregnant, then they are consequently followed up by a uh, ANM auxiliary mother, auxiliary nurses and as well as the doctors. We can find out who are the mothers who are expecting to deliver in the month of July. So these are the mothers who are expecting to month of July. We have already filtered for the month of uh, July. And uh, among these mothers, we can, we, I would like to find out who are the mothers with high risk or if there are any mothers with any uh, risk factor. So I would like to find out if there are many, any mothers with hypertension. Uh, as you can see the dashboard, the dashboard does not indicate of any hypertension, uh, mothers with hypertension. There could be mothers with severe anemia cases. So let's say oh, there is a case with severe anemia. So once I click the marker, I'll be able to find out which mother, who is the doctor responsible uh, for this mother and what exactly is the case and whether can uh, we help there, we, we can stop an IIMR or an MMR because of this uh, reason. It is very important in such remote areas to identify this, uh, the weakest links in the district so that we strengthen the overall performance of the district as well as the performance of the medical center. The most unique aspect of this dashboard is a spatial integration where we have integrated Google Maps to this dashboard and uh, through this Google Maps we can actually have a better visual representation of critical areas or the uh, uh, critical gaps. It has been CDFI's privilege to partner with the government of Meghalaya to pilot the concept of data-driven governance. The basic idea is to use a combination of mobile plus analytics to capture granular data from the remotest of villages and use that to derive intelligence and drive outcomes across sectors, health, education, livelihoods, etc. Who better to drive this than the deputy commissioner of a district? And we were fortunate to have Mr. Ram Kumar, DC of Southwest Garrow Hills to push this initiative forward. Also, we were actively supported by senior officials in the state as also those at the highest echelons of the state government who were willing to try something challenging and innovative. What is interesting is that this path-breaking concept was not tried in the vicinity of a large city as many such initiatives are. Instead, we chose to pilot it in a place that is many hours drive from Shillong in a district with sparse settlements, difficult terrain and iffy connectivity. So, not only did we take technology to where it is needed the most, we proved it under the toughest of conditions. Also, we trained government's own resources to execute the pilot. This gives us increased confidence now to scale the system not just across the state, but to possibly take it to other states as well, those that may be interested. 
Meghalaya has shown the rest of the country that difficult terrain and lack of capacity cannot hold back initiatives that used technology for development. Many believe that technology is the greatest equalizer in this modern era. Technology driving intervention has enabled easy monitoring and effective results. It has helped address critical gaps in institutional deliveries in the southwest Garo Hills district of Meghalaya.